Hey everybody, it's your old pal Wood Doofus here. We're going to be remodeling this laundry room storage section here. This really doesn't make any sense, so we're going to be taking out this weird flooring top here. I'm going to reuse it later, but uh, we got the cat stuff in there. We got this weird thing. Take that out. I'm going to measure it down because I want to cut out the baseboards. So I'm going to put a built-in shelf, so that's why I'm cutting out the baseboards. And I'm using the window to decide what the measurements are. So it's gonna be about a 12 inch deep shelf and it's gonna to go to the top of the window. There I am cutting the caulk edge, getting ready to remove that with the hammer and the pry bar there. Taking out the shoe molding, quarter round, whatever you wanna call it. Taking out the baseboards, making it look nice. Well, it doesn't look nice, it looks like crap. But uh, we're going to cover up that crap, make it look nice. All right, so I'm making like a little base for it to sit on here out of two by fours. I got some pocket holes. It's probably overkill on the construction of a base because it's just going to be covered up later on. But uh, I got the stuff, so I make the stuff. And uh, just putting some screws in there. On the back end, I'm just going to use normal screws because I didn't want shoot. I didn't. I did not want screws to show on the front, which is why I use pocket holes. On the front but this is gonna be the back so there it is going into place give you a little footprint of what the shelf will look like got the cat dookie in the shot now i'm going to cut some shelves i have some scrap pieces of three quarter inch plywood i'm going to use that but i think overall i use probably two i would need two sheets of plywood to build this project and um but i had some scraps so i used one sheet plus scraps and it worked out pretty well I am cutting the top and bottom to size all at one time, so they'll be the same size together. And uh, then I get on cutting the sides of the cabinet. And once again, these are 12 inch deep, plus a face frame, which is 3 quarter inch, so it's going to be 13 inches deep, pretty much. And here I am constructing this, excuse me. I'm going to use some glue and I have a 16 gauge uh, pin nailer there, which is my bigger pin nailer. And I try to make these square as I can, but uh, as I put it together, I will square it up as I go and it should be fine. This is the initial construction, which is just the box and uh, pretty simple there. So. Uh, but obviously not super strong, so I'm going to put some extra supports in here. These little stretchers, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to put one at the top there. I'm going to put one at the bottom. And I'm going to put one down the middle, which I probably didn't film. But, you know, you put some glue on there. And by the time the glue and the pin nails go together, it'll be strong enough for what we're doing, which is going to build it into the wall. So it does. it's not a freestanding structure, so I don't need to put... A lot of effort into making it super strong because once it's attached to the wall it'll be strong enough and I have one fixed shelf down the middle put that on there I'm gonna use uh, adjustable shelves so I made this template and I'm using a quarter inch brad point drill bit with a tape to mark the depth and it's important to use the brad point drill bit on this because you don't want that thing to walk you don't want to walk down the street and visit the neighbors and tell filthy stories to their animals. You want that brad point bin bit to cut it nice and neat. All right, so let's go ahead and shove this into the slot right next to the cat dookie where it belongs. And it uh, looks like everything fits. Fits right to the top of the window like I needed it to. Looking good. Now i got to find the stud so I can anchor it to the wall. You could put one right in the corner. There's always a stud in the corner, but I'm just finding some middle point stud. I finally found one. Well, now I am constructing the face frame out of poplar. I'm making one and three quarter inch pieces here to go around the perimeter and down that center fixed shelf. And I'm going to construct these with pocket holes. And I just totally screwed up that first one, but I'll have to fix it later. But this is the bottom piece because it's not one and three quarters, obviously, because it doesn't need to be. I want it to be flush with the bottom shelf. But then the rest of it will be one and three quarter inch, which is a little easier to screw the holes in. So here's the construction. These pocket holes will face inward, so you'll never see them again, but it helps keep the frame looking nice. Here I am with the screwed up part. I'm trying to put it together with uh, Starbond, 
which uh, did not work this time. You know, everybody has magical star bond stories, but that one did not work. So here I'm putting a bead of glue along the front edge of that ingrain of the plywood so I can cover it up with the poplar face frame, make everything look nice. I already have my shelf pins in the holes, as you can see. And now this is a 18 gauge, which is a smaller nail to put in the face frame. That makes it easier to uh, clean up those holes later. You don't want to use the 16 gauge if you don't have to. If you got an 18 gauge, use that. Or even a 23 gauge, which I don't have, but uh, I do have this. So here I am putting a shelf together. Once again, just a three quarter inch poplar edge to cover up the end grain of the plywood. And I have four of those shelves. And if I want to make a fifth one later on, I can. It's no big deal, but I started off with four. And we'll see how that works out. And getting the sharp edge off of uh, everything there. That was a little cheat shelf I put uh, two pieces of poplar because I didn't want to cut another strip. All right, here we are. Dry fitting the shelves to make sure they work. Everything looks pretty good. All right, so that means it's time to patch up the holes with a little wood filler. A little hand sanding afterward is fine, but uh, sometimes I just wipe it with my hand and call it a day. I don't care. This is just the laundry room. All right, so it magically got painted, so I'm sure you've all have done painting before, so I didn't need to put that on the on the movie film that I'm making here. So here's what it looks like built in. I still need to waterproof the bottom edge with some molding, which I didn't do yet. Maybe another video for that. But yeah, right along the edge of the window top. And I'm going to install some... I'm going to tear up that original flooring shelf that I have. Put a couple more shelves in there for storage solutions, which I think I put in the video. Yeah, there it is. See, here's all of our crap. There's the cat dookie. This is what it looks like with all the crap in it. And the extra shelf is there under the window, and one goes across the top of the window for crap storage. And uh, it's tucked away nicely, and we can actually access it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and as always, don't be afraid to be a doofus. This wasn't recording. Just recording. <laughs>